Southwest batting order. The 20-year-old Tatis will be followed by the 21-year-old Josh Naylor. Then it's Manny Machado. He had a couple home runs last night. Eric Hosmer, Hunter Renfro. Will Myers swung it well against the Rockies yesterday. What's new? Ian Kensler's in the lineup. The veteran second baseman, Austin Hedges, the number one catcher who had yesterday off. He's in the eighth spot in front of former number one pick. Canadian native Cal Quantrill. And for the Rockies, it will be Jeff Hoffman. And listen, the, the ERA is nowhere near what he'd like to see it. We know he has the plus curveball. He just needs consistency at bat to at bat and then ultimately inning to inning. Yeah, because it's usually one inning per per game. That <laughs> Is that last year or two years two ago? Two years ago. I love that kid. Charlie Blackman, he's going to lead it off. Then uh, Trevor Story, David Dahl. <laughs> Daniel Murphy, Rondell Tapia, Ryan McMahon, Brendan Rogers, Tony Walters. Basically, I'm reading for you folks. That's <laughs> Jeff Hoffman in the ninth spot. That's what we do in, on the Southwest Batting Order. There we go. We show you, and in case you don't want to read and are lazy, we read it for you. Cal Quantrill, the son of Paul Quantrill on the mound. Yeah, and 7-3 uh, and three and 13 starts between AAA last year and the big leagues this year. I mean, the kid, uh, his last inning. Oh boy. This ball's hit to deep center field. Dahl going back, and it is gone. Hunter Renfro got a fastball out over the plate and just hit his 19th of the year, and the Padres take a 1 0 lead. For Jeff, that's seven home runs in the last four plus ball games, and also 71 home runs by the Rocky starters this year. Base hit. Race into the baseball's Renfro, and he'll hold Trevor to a single. So Trev's two for two. Gone way up. And he gets this in play to deep left center field. There's a wind out there, and it is going to sail out. What an at bat for David Dahl. And the Rockies take a two to one lead. That's as good as it gets. He fouled off a bat. Ball is line fair to right. It'll be a double for Hosmer with one out. And that's line to center field, and it is caught by David Dahl. That keeps the Rockies in front. So a little Dahl offense and a little Dahl on defense. Based on the fact that that ball is lying left, the base hit leading off here for Charlie. Based on the fact that Chad Bett is not yep. going. And this ball lying to left, stay fair. It is one up off the wall. Blackman to third. He'll pause there on a double by Story, who's now three for three. Dahl with a ground ball to short. That'll get a run home. And that is safe. Tatis took too long. Just playing the game hard, playing the game right. And David Dahl's rewarded with an infield hit. The Rockies get a run. They're going to challenge it. Well, now they say he's out at first. The Rockies get the run. RBI for Dahl. Now this one is popped up in a strange area. Tatis makes a catch. Story's coming down the line. Here's the throw cut off for some reason. Why would you cut that off? No idea, but he dropped the ball. That the pressure point? on him. I think it's the right call. I think no, it was on the too. transfer. Yeah, because he secured it long enough. So he catches it. He has it. Yeah, it was on the transfer. Watch Trevor. He doesn't make the decision initially. Goes and then he's like, I'm going. Then curveball became his better pitch late. And a base hit the other way. Machado, conservative lead at first. And now there's two men on. That's a fair ball, and Murphy clips to Bettis. Plenty of strikeout in his game also. And that's up the middle, and it eats up Rodgers. He still gets the out. Run scores, it's four to two. 
And that's basically what was going to happen anyhow. Yeah, it is. Luckily, it just popped up, and he still had the arm strength to get Will Myers. It didn't kick too far away. Didn't waste any time. Get Chad wants fastball away. So he loses Kinsler. Center field to Desmond. He's going to have to play it on a hop. And it's four to three for the Padres. And this is a bouncer to Murphy. He thought for a moment about getting the force and then for some meniscus in spring training. This is lobbed into shallow right. He's going to drop a leadoff single for McMahon. And this could be a double play. There's one on the first. Close. And Tony gets plumped. To right down the line. Extra bases. Two runs will score. Desmond on his way to third. And he's going to be winning the toll. Throw to the play off line. Inside the park. Three run home run. That's winning the AB. <laughs> But once the dive by Josh Naylor happened in right field, that's when I started to get excited because this is what's going to happen. Desi wins the battle no matter what because he's going to drive in two runs, but then the dive. Is there going to be a third run? Now, Naylor fumbles with the baseball. Stu Cole was waving the whole way. And once he saw that throw get over the head of Ian, De or, uh, uh, excuse me, of Ian Kinsler, that's when you get the Superman dive in the hole. That was a Pete Rose dive. A three run inside the park home run. And now Charlie Blackman throws one down the right field line. Blackman headed to second. Naylor's going to need some oxygen. An RBI ground out, also a walk. And this ball through the right side. Base hit. Come on down, Charlie Blackman. David hit it in the right spot. A four RBI night for Dawn. There was some hesitation by Hosmer. And, and this ball's driven to the gap in right center field. Dahl is going to be able to run for a while. Stu Cole waves him home. Murphy with an RBI double. Chew a lot of gum when you're struggling. High fly ball right field. Pretty well hit. And this is going to carry out of here wow that thing off the bat he figured it was going to be deep right field but playable Machado's third home run of the series and you start thinking about that inning because it was 4-3 instead of uh, you know 4-4 four, four, the Rockies were up 9-4 to four. Machado's 13th of the year 37 RBIs this ball just kept going Took me a second to figure out who was hitting because I had to move around. Brendan Rodgers may have another one of those infield hits. Yes, he does. Machado's throw goes down the right field line. Rodgers to second. Base hit and an E5. And the Padres have not retired to side in order yet. This ball is pretty well hit right center field. Tagging's Rodgers. And a nice job. Well, this little wow. throw. Better get there. One two from Whistler. And slowly hit out in front of the plate. Whistler home, safe there. Hopefully Brennan Rogers is okay. He pops up. Oh, oh that hit him in the face. They got Trevor up in the face. He took a bad hop. This ball lined to deep left field. And the leap by Dahl. He can't make the catch. Around third coming home is Renfro. It'll be a double for Hedges. 11-5. Maybe not even that far. This is going to drop a base hit for Tatis. And look at this. Another hit is third. This is back up the middle of base hit. And that is going to score two. That makes it 11-7. Oh, 
more than I'd like to think. Uh -oh. Oh, this ball's got. Well, you're going to have to bring in Wade now. There you are. It's 11 9. That is the second homer of the night for Renfro, and I'm interested to see how far they say that one went, because that was a bomb. And it's 11 9, and you got to go get your closer. Sure, you didn't think he would have to be in here. Yes. But now look at And now you have the tying run coming up. And that's a base hit. Two pitches, two base hits. And Austin Hedges will come up. Are you kidding me? And Hedges hits this to block, and Charlie will make the catch. Two outs. Well, will Meyer almost went too far. I don't where, do you, where was Will? And just like that, as we talk about it, this one gets by. And now you have the tying run at second base. 3-1 to Marco, ball four. Base hit center field. And this is going to tie up the baseball game. Unbelievable. Six runs for the Padres in the ninth. Well, he hit this right back over the head of Davis. What do you think about that cross up too? Yeah, that might have affected him against Margot, but then he ends up walking hit. Swung on and missed. Wow. Six runs for the Padres in the top of the ninth. He was two for two in that ninth. In the air, deep center field. And this one's off the very top of the wall. Tatis to second, and he'll no, he's gonna keep going. Throw to third. Not gonna get it. Got to get a strike out if you can. Oh, two. Fair ball. Tatis scores. Allen's got a double. And it is 12 11 San Diego. 12 runs, 18 hits for the Padres. Down the line. And that's going to bring home another run. Machado's going to have a double. Now the Rockies are down two. Austin Allen jogs home. Four hit night for Machado. Uh -oh. Renfro has hit another. He's on the concourse. That's his third of the night. That's five Four RBI. is a 12. 15 11 San Diego. Line to deep right. And it's off the wall that hits Charlie on the rebound. That's a double for Will Myers. Single and a double and a walk tonight. And that gets through Tony. And it's going to cost the Rockies another run. This is an absolute meltdown. No other way to describe it. You've already chalked it up to the W column. This is a towering drive deep right field. If it's fair, it's gone. It is a fair ball. Charlie Blackman with his 15th. And this is in the air to left field. Myers makes the catch, and that ends the ball game.